Hi, I'm Rob Vanstone. I'm here with Marie McCormick. We're doing our regularly scheduled Rough Riders or Owen Blank video. <laughs> this week, the magic number is four. Exactly. Uh, what can the Rough Riders do to prevent this, the blank from being filled with a five instead of a four? Well, it sounds they tried the reset button, which didn't work. So this week, they're looking inward to move forward. They're asking the players to be responsible for their own jobs, be responsible for their own duties, each player stepping up to fill his role, and maybe end this losing streak against the Tiger Cats. Will it work? The reset didn't work too well. A little more optimistic about this, so maybe they have to take responsibility for their own mistakes, their own penalties, and those kind of things. And a lot of that's on the defense. The offense is doing fine, so I think maybe the defense can move forward by looking inward. What's going through my mind is, is, is winning. Is uh, winning. Talk to the guys today about each uh, man doing his individual job, and nothing's too hard when we all do our jobs and we do it to a, a, a winning perfection. So that's where we are right now. We just need to get some things turned around. You know, I think like each week, I'm going to tell you, we are progressing, uh, progressing enough to where they're close. We just have to continue to progress to where we get over that hump that it's not close, that we actually win them. Rob, they've lost four games by 12 points. What do they got to do to end this? It's, it's so mystifying. I mean, the margin of victory is so minuscule every week. Defensively, I think it's just a matter of making key plays at key junctures. For three quarters, they're not a bad defensive football team. They've been able to hold teams early on in games quite uh, proficiently. It's just when it gets down to the, to the crunch time, there's an inability to finish. And offense, they, they're putting up great numbers. There's times that they can do a little better, such as the completion-free start to the first quarter against <laughs> BC. But uh, I think most of it's on the defense. They've got to perform a lot better if the Riders are to have a chance at actually putting a win, win on the board. I wouldn't say there's any excuse for uh, playing poor defense because the next guy up has to be ready. We've all been that guy before, and we're going um, to need those guys as the season moves forward because it's part of the football. Injuries are going to happen, so we can't really use it as an excuse, but even though it's, it's, it's uh, unfortunate for us. So we're Riders versus Tiger Cats on Sunday. Uh, Tiger Cats aren't exactly lighting it up either. They're only one and two, but their schedule is all road games at the beginning of the season. Riders four to five at home to begin the season. They really need a win. We'll see if that materializes. For Murray McCormick, I'm Rob Vance, so thanks for joining us and take care.